how can we all be more sensitive and having more and have more empathy for those around us, especially for those who maybe have autism or ADHD or are suffering from um, anxiety disorders. And just by the way, I've been very transparent in my own show that I, I have anxiety issues. I, I see a therapist. And so mental health is a very important topic to me. But I would love to hear your perspective on this. Um, thank you for sharing that because I feel like a lot of people when they see a therapist are like oh no but actually um, it's great it's a form of debugging that's what I call it as mm. and it helps clear your mind and to have, have something to bounce off which is quite a, it's actually quite a personal thing to have a therapist because not all of them work for you so it's actually it's not just oh get one from Tesco's it's <laughs> it can be right. all my trial and error <laughs> it's actually really hard to that's find so what true. works uh, <laughs> um, in terms of empathy um, I've I've been thinking about this, especially in the current climate, the social climate, um, with the um, Black Lives Matter, and it's such an important example, actually, because I, I, we could all learn more. I need to learn more, and you know why? It's not because I'm racist. I'm not racist, by the way. I am. Um, I feel like there's it, this subject of empathy um, is very is very much confused with sympathy. Because I can't directly empathize with someone who's black because I'm not black and I haven't had a culture and a heritage that's been oppressed for the best part of 400 years. So the best that I can do is A, acknowledge my privilege with respect to them, but also know that as much as I want them to be equal and be like, oh, we're all equal. Well, we're not because the system isn't equal. And I feel like by acknowledging that is makes you feel like, oh, no, am I do. I'm, I'm a horrible person, but actually, you know, you're acknowledging your privilege and you're acknowledging what you need to know in order for you to be on some level, I wouldn't say equal, but to acknowledge what, what, the, what their person's history is. And not just as, as them as a person, but their heritage and their culture. So I feel like this is quite an asset. It's not just about knowing an individual. It's about knowing, I guess, the more um, sociological levels of how someone is brought up, the things you need to be aware of, the fact that, you know, if someone can't pronounce my name, therefore I'm less likely to get a job offer. Or the fact that I need to, um, you know, walk in the street and I've got my head up. Or the fact, if you see, you know, I'm not going to go into it, there's many different examples. But when it comes to mental health, it's, 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 it's a different building completely, but it's similar in the sense, in that developed sense of empathy, you can do that only by understanding. And it's really good that there are people out there who want to understand and they say to me, oh, you're not autistic, oh, you don't look autistic. And I'm like, okay, um, I'm not quite sure what you're saying there, whether it's a positive or a negative thing. If, some, if someone knew what it was like, and I think that's the first step. And I think that book, that my book, Spin in Humans, is something, it's my first step towards that. So people can be like, oh, that's what it's like. It's a bit like this science model. Because if I do it on psychological models, I find them quite hard to understand because they're based on human psychology. That's what I'm actually trying to crack. So um, mental health is something that can only be empathised with from a level of understanding and also acceptance. Like I know some friends, I don't know the ins and outs of my autism, but they can help anticipate when I'm going to get anxious, mm -hmm. but also if I get anxious, they go, oh, you don't usually get anxious. They go, they go, it's okay, Millie. It's just reassurance and just n not judgment. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Data Talk podcast. To watch the full episode, you can either go to the Experian blog. The URL is experian.com slash datatalk, or you can click on the link, which is found in the description of this video.